This is a 2007 Abbey Freestyle 640. It's got fixed bunks in the centre of the caravan with a large rear washroom, which is lovely condition. Although the caravan's a 2007, it wasn't actually registered until mid-2008. So its uh, wear and tear is pretty minimal for its age. It was delivered to a site and has never, never moved from it. So if we just walk around and look for any marks, but they really are very minimal on this caravan. This is a little hatch and that enables you to access the toilet cassette for emptying. It's a dual axle. This here is the awning rail that runs around and that's where an awning or an annex, as they're sometimes called, that's where it fix, fixes. Little marks, one here and one here. And then there's a further one there, but that's it on the outside. Space at the front for the LPG bottles, the Alco tow hitch. So if we just go inside, stable door, the bin, ice cream, nice little cupboard here, and that's got the controls. Can see them. Straight ahead, got the fixed bunks, the ladder, nice little window with a blind and fly screen above. Now, this here lifts up. Oops. Like so. You can see that it does clip in and then if you wanted to take bikes with you when you're traveling they can be stored like in this area here I haven't put that down properly but hopefully you get the idea then this is the little diner area that converts to further bunks as you'll see in the photograph on the website. This upholstery is lovely. I don't know if you can, oh, there's a leaf there that's blown in. Better get rid of that. It's really nice, sort of bluey gray color and creams and beiges, very nice. And the curtains too, you can see them in lovely condition. Then above, some storage cupboards. And also got this curtain that pulls around for a bit of privacy around the bunk beds. Then next to that again, further cupboard above, got some shelves, switches and sockets and for the trauma heater. And here is the heater oh, and the hot water as well. And there is the traumatic heater and that runs on LPG or 240 volts. Little drawer with all the caravan information inside, and then we move into the lounge area. And again, got this lovely fabric. Now, this area converts into a double bed, or you could use it as two singles. And this little unit here is removable, and the slats pull out to form the double bed. That's getting in the way of it, isn't it? Now, if you didn't want to get the kitchen, get the large freestanding table out, this forms a small table, very easy to put up. And then you've got a couple of drawers beneath. 
storage beneath these seats which can either be accessed by lifting up the cushions or again you've got these doors. There's a radio in the other part somewhere but I just need to locate that as we go around. Oops. It's a lovely modern caravan this. Nice and clean. No smells at all. And as I said, all the uh, windows have fly screens and blackout blinds. So there's also some lights. Then you move on to the kitchen area. First of all, here we have a fridge. Just seeing what make it is. It's Tetford fridge with ice box, all intact and all lovely and clean. Next to that is a little cupboard with a pull-out cutlery tray and storage rack. This here is the draining board like so. And above little wire racks to hold cup <coughs> excuse me cups and plates. Now moving on to the cooker, it's a stove cooker. It's got three gas rings and one electric. Grill with pan and the oven. And up here is a brand new sharp microwave. Which has moved to the rear of the caravan, past the bunks. A nice long mirror there. Into the shower room. Vanity basin, a little shelf cupboard beneath, a Tetford electric swivel toilet, another cupboard above, lovely shower, clean, no cracks or no stains. And it's got the swivel door, oops, she's like so. And now something I haven't seen on any of these caravans before is this really large wardrobe. It's amazing. Hanging rail at the top. What's the um, aerial there? Can put, uh, turn the aerial from inside. And that's the freestanding table. So this is really lovely sized wardrobe. And then next to that have a little cupboard, like so. So it's a beautiful, well kept family caravan in fantastic condition.